Say welcome to Covenant Keepers Ministries. Today is Tuesday, September the 5th, 2023. And we're, we're talking about by love, serve one another. Right out of the word of God, Galatians 5, 13, for you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love, serve one another. I have a friend in ministry whose son living in North Dakota heard God say to him to get his buddy, take a few chairs, go down on a street corner and offer to listen and pray for people who walk by. And then he shared how amazing it was that total strangers were willing to share their story, talk about their life and accept prayer. Listen, serving people is simple. It is just to be ready to give, to go, to pray, or whatever God speaks to you in that moment to just do it. So I wanna ask you, is the grip on your time, the grip on your talent, the grip on your checkbook or debit card so strong that you can't hear the gentle whisper of the Holy Spirit as he says, Les, now's the time. Just do this. This is what I'm telling you to do. A couple weeks back, maybe a month, one of my neighbors told me that another of our neighbors had lost his father unexpectedly. Uh, they gave him a call, said he was uh, taken by ambulance to the hospital and Within a few hours, he was septic and, and he passed away. And I was, I, I've had a couple calm, casual conversations with this guy and I felt impressed by God. Just when he gets back from, from going to Arkansas, just pray with him, pray for him. And I prayed for him when I wasn't with him, but I, I knew that when he got home, the spirit of God said, just go over and pray for him. And when he arrived home, after burying his father, I saw him outside and I went over to pray for him. I asked him how he, was, how he was doing and he shared a little of his grief. And he didn't break down and cry, but you could tell he was really uh, broken and it happened so fast. And, and he was really concerned about his mother and they live like seven hours away. And, and he said, if, you, if you're a praying man, Please pray for my mom because she's having a hard time. Isn't this interesting? I felt God say to me, go over and pray for this guy. And, and then he says to me, if you're praying, man, please pray for my mom. So I just looked at him and I said, was well, it okay if we just pray together right now? And, and I said, you know, I, I don't, if it's okay, I'll just put my hand on your shoulder. And he put his hand on my shoulder and I put my hand on his. And I, I just prayed a prayer of, God comforting him, giving him peace, protecting his mom, helping him through the transition and the grief. A week later, I was on my way home and, and I felt the Spirit of God say, look for his truck, make sure he's home, then I want you to go over and pray for him again. And so I parked my car in our driveway and I walked across the street. His wife was out in the yard and I said, uh, how's he doing today? And she said, this is a really rough day. Today's two weeks since his dad died. And I saw he was in the backyard and I, I went back and prayed for him. Again, and he, and he just was broken. His, you could tell he was having a hard time walking through this process. And I'm gonna be doing my best to stay connected, keep praying for him, help him if there's any way I can help him. I don't know if he knows Jesus, but I do know he needs a friend in the hour of his grief. I'm just here in this journey, in his journey right now, to love him and, and bring the comfort my frail human spirit can bring, knowing God can comfort him with a supernatural comfort. Listen, the word of God is so clear. Through love, serve one another. Serve one another. And here's what I've discovered is that, that service confronts the issue of selfishness in me. When I, when I decide or when you decide that, hey, I'm gonna be just like Jesus because he didn't come to be served, he came to serve. When I decide to be a servant, we're, we're faced with varying degrees of selfishness. Some, sometimes it just occurs because we're tired. We have tiredness and we're just wore out. Other times our selfishness occurs because uh, we may keep it score. 
and I'm not serving my wife, my spouse right now, and the kids aren't going to serve one another because be keeping score, it's your turn. And many times we're already exhausted and we're called upon to minister to someone. We, want, we don't have any energy. Our levels are down. Many times we won't serve someone because of some prejudice in our life toward a group of people or a specific individual. Sometimes somebody's wronged us, said some bad things about us. There's no way we're serving that person. And yet if the Spirit of God spoke to us and said, I want you to do this for them, would you do it? Our world and our own selfishness teaches us, take care of number one. In fact, we often hear people talking about who they have authority over. Our conversation as Christians ought to include how we're serving others. It ought to be right there on the front burner. The issue of selfishness is more difficult to overcome because of our bondage to sin. Sinfulness brings us into bondage to self. This is magnified because we are also under the bondage of the selfishness of others. For everyone, it's like a double whammy. Boom, boom. We're battling to overcome our own selfishness and at the same time battling self-centered actions of others. And these often clash and produce conflict and lead us to a point of view to just keep to ourselves and our little circle of friends. And we're not going to go serving people because you'd get hurt doing that. But the amazing thing in our culture, here in America at least, is that we can't even live without people serving one another. So much of the industry of our world is service oriented. Most of our labor force exists to serve and supply people and their needs. Yet every one of us is faced with the issue of selfishness sourced in our sin. We must overcome selfishness if we're going to be able to serve. How do we do that? Well, I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. In the meantime, I want you to listen carefully today to the Holy Spirit. And if he says, hey, help that person, do this for someone, will you just simply obey? Father, here we are, called into the kingdom of Almighty God following the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who said, I didn't come to be served, I came to serve. And we're trying to follow your example. And a lot of stuff in me doesn't want to do things sometimes, God. Call me to servanthood. Call all of those who are your people to servanthood as you already have done through your word. Help us be alert today because somebody's going to need our help and you've given us resource to take care of it. We're ready. Thank you. Amen. Okay. Somebody's going to cross your path. It's you got to be ready. Just get ready to serve and love people and let God's grace flow through you. Have a blessed day.